Well, hello, and welcome back to The Sims 4. My name is Travis Peter, and this is episode 8. So, of course, where we last left our characters, uh, Travis Peter died. A had rigged his house to um, lock the doors with him inside and burst into flames. As you can tell, there's just all this damage, just everything burned to bits, just piles of ash everywhere. And it was such a lovely home. It did actually, to be honest, you know, as, an, as a creator aside here, uh, it did, you know, break my heart to have to burn this stuff and burn it because it looked so great before. I didn't design it and I probably will not be able to return it to its former glory. So uh, my heart's broken as much as Phil's is. Just kidding. Phil lost his husband. He's a widower. But yes, as you remember, he, um, you know, he crawled into bed just to cry it out because he is a very sad um, as he should be, you know, Travis was an amazing husband, probably the best husband anyone could ever have. So um, I'm just going to give him a moment to to cry it out a little bit more. But, you know, Phil, um, pardon my pun about him already lying down, but Phil's not going to take this lying down. Look at him stand. Um, he just needs to wash his hands. He feels unclean. And it's also probably like... Yeah, it is messy in there because this place burned to the ground, basically. Um, yeah, he just feels dirty. He just needs to get clean. And um, no, you know what? You're not doing chores today. You are getting revenge. Now, as you remember, Travis is not the first person to die uh, by the hands of A. Allison De Laurentiis also lost her boyfriend, Justin Bieber, who got murdered at the Christmas party. So he's going to actually head over there and... Um, He's gonna he's gonna talk to her, see what maybe they could do. Well, Phil is not friends with very many people, I just realized. Yeah, he's gonna they're gonna he's gonna have a little chat with Allison because um this has gone too far. He thinks it, Allison thinks it. They are tired of being stalked. So, first and foremost, of course, I need to make sure everyone Hopefully it doesn't make him happy if I cheat his needs. He should still be pretty sad. Okay, he's still very sad. That's good. So he is going to knock on the door and start scheming with the Queen of Mean herself. He's going to complain about his problems, let her know what happened, discuss Dan's technique, um, and ask for advice. Okay, and is there any other sad thing that he can do other than complain about problems and ask about advice? Okay. Now he's going to go, you know what, Allison? He's just had to have a seat. He just couldn't stand it anymore. Oh my gosh, she's so shocked. Travis is dead. Now, Allison, um, sorry, I was just really distracted by uh, their just animated talking there for a second. Now, Allison, um, she remembers talking to Justin because the Allison, Allison wants to team up with Phil. They're going to get some revenge. And Allison remembers uh, talking to Justin about his neighbor when Justin Bieber was alive, of course. Justin Bieber always told her about this weird neighbor he had that lived in this tiny little shack and always dressed in a black hoodie. Now, of course, when A showed up, he was in a black hoodie every time A shows up. I keep saying he. Of course, as I've said previously, I, the sim itself is male, but uh, it's just because I wanted it to have a deep voice. It is supposed to be currently genderless because A could be a man or a woman or I guess any really any gender. And, uh, yeah, so, of course, A has been in a hoodie this whole time. So, Phil and Allison are gonna, are gonna go visit Justin's neighbor, and they're gonna confront A, basically. They're gonna be like, you killed our men? Oh, and sure as heck, look at he lives there. He's gonna travel with Allison. Allison. 
Now, what are they going to find? The, the suspense must be killing you. I love how Phil, in his, you know, revenge mission here, is still in his... He just looks so great. I just love that crop top. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, so here it is. Here's A's shack. Um, I think, is he home? I don't know, I guess. We'll find out. And, oh, that's so creepy. That's so creepy. I did not know that gnome's eyes glowed. Now, Allison can't actually go anywhere near that. Um, we're going to learn a little bit about Allison right now because Allison is deathly afraid of gnomes. And the reason she's deathly afraid of gnomes is because when she was a child, she had some very bizarre supernatural experiences. And there were just tons. Uh, she would... She lived in this house that was um, that was kind of very haunted, kind of very haunted. It was haunted, and but it wasn't haunted by typical ghosts or anything. Uh, at night, she would see these little gnomes, and they were very antagonistic. Um, they did, you know, they were aggressive, and you know, she actually had to consult um, a local witch in her town at the time to to kind of help her get get rid of them. So ever since then, she has been deathly afraid of gnomes. So she actually can't go anywhere near. A's property here. So he, um, oh, I don't have any control over Allison. I was going to make Allison fight with A. Is A anywhere here? A must be inside. So Phil is going to stomp over and knock on the door. Oh, there's A. You know what? I'm going to, just so I can have control of Allison, of course. There we go. Now, Allison. Okay, I was waiting till A got a little closer. She is just gonna let him have it. She's gonna yell at, yell at him. She's gonna mock his stupid black hoodie. She's gonna insult that loser A. She's gonna imply that A's mother is a llama. <gasps> Whoops, not trash another sim. Oh, look at Ghost Me and Ghost Justin Bieber. Side note, I have no idea because, you know, of course, Justin Bieber's urn was still at the park. Well, then I ended up deleting that park to put a non-Christmas one there. No idea where his uh, his headstone went. So, <laughs> yeah, so Al's gonna, Allison's going to stand there and fight with A while Phil does some reconnaissance. He's, reconnaissance? Recon, reconnaissance? Anyway, look at this tiny little dingy hole that A lives in. But what's this? Now, Phil, of course, notices that uh, there's a separate door here. So he's going to go up back and he's going to go down those stairs. I just want to make sure Allison um, just keeps yelling at him. They're going to keep fighting. No, she's not going to try to calm him down. She's not going to. She's going to insult him some more and she's going to um, jeer, mock outfit, because that's still a stupid black hoodie. She's gonna yell. She's gonna throw a drink that she just happens to have with her. And, oh, her cue is full. Yeah, so Phil's gonna head down into this secret basement. And what does he find? A gnome workshop with a cage. There's legitimately a cage Clearly, A had plans to keep someone in there and has been down here manufacturing gnomes this whole time. But that's, of course, not everything. A has been taking secretly taking pictures of Allison this entire time. Um, as you can tell, they're very candid. Um, I love this one. This one's so creepy. But yeah, this clearly there's there's been a lot going on. A has, A has been following Allison for some time. And so Phil, of course, um, wants to, whoops, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Phil, of course, wants to, to repay the favor that, uh, that A showed, showed them. So he's also gonna burn his fucking home to the ground. Now, of course, I'm doing this by cheating, but just imagine that Just imagine that Phil's doing it. Now, Phil, Allison has learned that A is evil. Well, no shit. Now, Phil's going to come up here. 
Okay, but go here. Like, don't stay in the fire. I literally don't want Phil to die. Oh, she is very tense. Okay, I can't get them into a fight because there's a fire on the lot. But... Get out of there, Phil. A lot of fires happening on The Sims lately, huh? Oh, there's a... No! Get out of there, you idiot! Oh my god. I don't... Can she call... Now... A is gonna... What is he doing? Why is he going down there? Don't try to extinguish anything. Now A is gonna mysteriously disappear. And Phil is not gonna fucking die in the fire. That's not what he's gonna do. So he's gonna go here. Like a normal human. How come- are there no firemen? There's yet to be a single fireman show up. <laughs> wow, there's been a fire. Now, is she just freaking out about the fire? Okay, she's just- Oh my god, there's a fire! I think you should be happy about it. I wish I could, like, cheat their reaction so they'd be laughing, but... Yeah, as you can tell, um... A's lot is just gonna burn to the ground. And, uh, his A, there, the gender-neutral they, is going to, uh, gonna lose everything that they've been working on so far. I love how they're both just losing their goddamn minds. <laughs> Can they leave? Okay, they can't during a fire. Okay, so I'm gonna have to s just stop. I ignore this for a moment. I have to stop the fire. Okay, look at me extinguishing a fire. God, I wish you could do this in real life. Wouldn't that be amazing? Whoops, shoot. How do I... Trying to get rid of all the fire so they can leave. Okay, so, fire's gone. Oh, look at her laughing. She's like, haha, fucker got what was coming to him. Now they're gonna go home. And, um... Uh, now Phil, he kind of you know, enjoyed, enjoyed doing the wrong thing, and he, you know, he, his life is kind of at a turning point now, so he's heard there's been this local, oh no, that's not traveling with, ugh. who do I have traveling? There we go. God. <laughs> I promise I know how to play this game. Eight episodes in, and I still struggle with all the controls. Now, he heard there's a Mean Girls Club in town, and he wants in. He wants to be a member of the Sins. You know, he's got very little left. His husband is dead. And, you know, as far as he's aware, he's gotten his revenge. You know, A probably won't be coming after him again. Or so he thinks. But, yeah, he's going to head over to the Sins and ask to join. Because he wants to be bad. You know, he's just in a, re he's in a really bad headspace right now. And he... You know, he's just not thinking straight. Of course, this is not what Travis would want from him. Travis does not like meanness, especially unnecessary meanness, which is kind of what, you know, the sins specialize. So he's going to knock on the door. And he's going to go find the just beautiful, beautiful... Where is Chris? Oh, he's in the bathroom. Ooh, in a Speedo. This is just, this is just great. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Oh, he's gonna go cry in the closet. This is, I haven't really inter- Oh, he's like walking through the furniture. He's so sad that the physical world means nothing to him. Okay, don't- Chris, Chris Hemsworth's just like, You know what, dude? Cry it out. Don't, don't know why you're crying, but... Now, he's gonna- He's gonna at least be friendly to Chris um, and introduce himself. 
in a friendly way. You know, he's got nothing against Chris. He wants he wants to be part of this club. And of course, he's into dudes, and look at how he looks. I mean, of course, he's not about to start thinking about moving on because, you know, losing someone like... Oh, he's going to talk to him about the sins, but losing someone like Travis is pretty devastating. It takes a long time to get over me. <laughs> but he's going to talk to him about the sins. Oh, what is your... Are your Fruit Loops spicy today, Chris? <laughs> Oh, and of course, Chris just laughed when he asked to join the Sins. Um, of course, the Sins are full, but he doesn't think Phil has what it takes to be a member of the Sins. So uh, Phil's going to complain about his problems, but what the heck, Chris? For heaven's sake. Well, at least he's... Now Phil's going to complain about his problems to Chris. Ugh. There we go. You know, he's Chris is sympathetic, but... He's going to once again talk to him about the sins. Okay. Can I please join? I just want to be bad. And he's like... You sound like... You know, like somebody I'd like to hang out with, but I just don't think your sin's material. And of course, this is going to anger Phil. Phil's super mad. So he's going to yell at him. You know, he's really emotional right now. And he's going to jeer. He's going to insult him. You know, of course, he's not a bad person. But... Whoops, not trash another sim. But, you know, he's not thinking straight. His husband just died. He's a widower. Oh, he seems to have a very happy reaction. He's gonna... What? Why do I keep selecting that one? I want them to get into an actual fight. He's gonna throw his drink. Ooh, this conversation got offensive. Oh my god. Now they're gonna fight. I have a strong feeling, I mean, just looking at their statue, that Chris Hemsworth is probably gonna win this one. <laughs> oh my god. What a day Phil's been having. He loses his husband, he gets into a fight with Chris Hemsworth, who's only wearing a Speedo. It looks like Phil's winning, actually. Oh, no. Chris and Phil now despise each other. Now, Phil's just gonna storm out. He's gonna... He needs to get out of there. You know, he didn't He didn't mean to make more enemies, but his, his head... Like I said, his head's not on straight. He... Just lost somebody very important to him. Wait, okay. <laughs> so he's gonna head home. You know, he's he did what he needed to do. He wanted to get his revenge. And him and Allison got revenge. So he's gonna head home. You know, he's got he's gotta start putting his life together at some point and and I think now is that time. But first he does want to to go visit. Visit his beloved. And mourn his husband. His act, well, his, yeah, his husband. Whoops. Okay, so, on that very, very depressing note, once again, these episodes have been ending so sadly. I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, so yeah, so make sure to like this video and click subscribe. Um, this I have my Sims videos come out weekly, and of course things you know two people are dead now. Two people are dead. We've exposed A's hideout. Things are getting intense. You're gonna want to stick around. Um, you know A eventually is going to be revealed. Of course, let me know down in the comments if you ever have if you ever have any theories. I would love to hear people's theories in terms of who they think A is at this point. 
And so, um, I mean, A has been, I, I think I've said this before, but A is someone we've seen. A is someone we've seen in this series. Of course, we've seen a lot of characters, so I can't, you know, I can't, it, that, that probably doesn't help you narrow it down. But um, yeah, always let me know if you have any theories. Also, let me know down in the comments um, if you have ever confronted someone. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. If you've ever confronted someone about something bad that they've done, especially in a very dramatic way, please let me know. Let's, I just want to, I just want to live through that uh, experience vicariously because I'm not the kind of person who, who, um, oh, Allison's here. Oh, that's right. Because I added her to the household. I'll have to add her back to her regular household. But Oh, he's going to go chat with Allison. Allison came to check on him. Isn't that adorable? Anyway, I was ending the episode. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.